Now we really move into looking at the relationship between the amount of product produced and the amount of reactants that you start with. For our first silver lab, we added copper wire to silver nitrate. Copper was pulled into solution with the nitrate and silver precipitated out. In this experiment, we will follow our silver ion through another reaction to produce silver chloride. We will compare the moles of silver chloride to the original amount of silver nitrate that we reacted in the silver lab. For day one of this procedure, you will need the silver nitrate that you produced in the last lab, a glass string rod, a 150 milliliter beaker, distilled water, sodium chloride, a piece of filter paper, and a funnel. And just as a reminder, silver nitrate is not something to be taken lightly. At the end of the silver lab, we added nitric acid to the silver metal. This solution was heated until the liquid was evaporated off and silver nitrate was again left at the bottom of the beaker. Note that in this sample there is a bit of blue color to it. This is because Mrs. Schroeder decanted her silver but did not super decant and sadly did not wash all of the copper nitrate from the silver. Find the mass of this beaker with the silver nitrate. How does this mass compare to the mass of the silver nitrate you started with in the silver lab? How should this mass compare to the mass of the silver nitrate you started with in the silver lab? Begin by adding about 15 milliliters of distilled water to the silver nitrate. Note that this is not very much at all, but it is plenty to be able to dissolve all of the solid. The thing to keep in mind here is that the more liquid you have, the longer it is going to take to get rid of, so don't overdo it. Stir until all of the silver nitrate is dissolved. Be sure to rinse your stirring rod into the beaker before setting it on the counter. Label your 150 milliliter beaker as beaker number two and your name. Find its mass. Add in one gram of sodium chloride and record that mass. Add around 15 milliliters of distilled water to the salt and stir until it is dissolved. Again, 15 milliliters is plenty of water to dissolve one gram of salt. Just keep stirring. Continue to stir while slowly pouring the sodium chloride solution into beaker number one. Note that a new white solid, silver chloride, will form. Rinse beaker number two with distilled water and add this rinse to beaker number one. Do this a couple times so that you get all of the sodium chloride transferred to beaker number one. While silver chloride isn't quite as bad as silver nitrate, it can still ruin your day. Notice that this forms a pretty cloudy solution. A hot plate will be set up in the fume hood. Heat your solution for a couple minutes. Watch it carefully as you do not want it to boil. Heating it a little bit will cause the suspended solution to clump together. You will probably still have some suspended particles, but the solution should clear up fairly well. Mass your piece of filter paper. Fold it in half, again, and separate one of the top layers from the other three. Place the paper in the funnel. You can add a little bit of distilled water to get it to stick down in there if it won't stay. Place the funnel in a small ring supported by a ring stand and place beaker number two under the funnel. Carefully decant the clear liquid from beaker number one into the filter. Do not pour so much into the filter so that it goes over the top of the filter. As much as you can, keep the silver chloride solid in the beaker. The more solid you have in the filter, the slower it goes. Another good practice is to adjust the bottom of the funnel so it sits right up against the side of the beaker. This will help pull the water through the funnel and speed up the process. Remember, this is super decanting, so wash the silver chloride well with 15 milliliters of distilled water. Decant the rinse into the funnel, and repeat this wash at least twice. Then remove the filter paper from the funnel and put it into beaker number one with the silver chloride. Beaker number one goes into the drying oven and on day two of the lab you will find the mass of the dry silver chloride. Beaker number two will go into the fume hood next to the hot plate. The water in this beaker will be evaporated and at day two of the lab you will find the mass of the dry residue. On the second day, once you have found the mass of both beakers, the residue from beaker number two can be washed down the drain. In beaker number one, scrape the silver chloride into the waste container found in the fume hood. So the data from this lab
So before coming to lab, you need to have a few things set up in your lab notebook. 